All right, hey guys, so it's been a while since I've filmed anything. I've just kind of been busy. I started a new job and it's just been hectic, so I kind of always forget to film too. So I've been busy. Uh, starters out, here's some labeled bags of bolts for the going to be new owner of the transmission from this car. So intake manifold is off. And it's just the intake sitting there. Um, that was sold. We're going to be upgrading to a sheet metal intake this winter. And I have a surprise different set of heads. So we're going from the 317s to a 243 head. Which is the exact same flow, exact same valve size, but the chamber size is smaller. Combustion chamber. So then that goes from 9.1 compression to 9.8 to 1. And if we deck a little off, we'll be at 10 to 1 compression. And also I can run 10 to 1 compression boost because I have all the ARP hardware to go with it. So it'll work out pretty good. Give me that bottom end I want. And uh, should give me another, with the intake manifold and the heads, I should, I should gain roughly 60 wheel horsepower actually. So that's exciting. Almost should be around 400 to the wheels, 390-ish. So hopefully that's what it makes. That'd be Really exciting, gonna change a lot. Uh, so just to show you guys what's going on down here. Ugh. Not a very large space since I don't have a hoist or anything. I just got six ton jack stands. But yeah, the transmission's out. Next, I'm taking off the ACT clutch and then I'm taking off the ISR adapter kit and the flywheel. That is because this winter we are going to a TKO 600. So that's a five speed with a 354 gear in the rear end. It should, it should made well. Um, it's also a lot cheaper than a T56 and I want the shift as much. Less shifting, the better it is to drift. Uh, a lot of our courses up here, we don't have like huge third gear tracks at all. So like there's one layout that will use three third gear, but I can just downshift halfway through, and plus with almost 400 horse, it should spin the tires pretty well. As long as I get my tire sizing right, everything will work out quite well. Uh, but yeah, that being said, I can have an SFI bell housing now with less effort. Uh, the TKO 600 has four bolts, and it bolts to the outside of the bell housing. So it, the th threads are on the bell housing, sorry. So it makes life so much easier. I can just disconnect the transmission, leave the bell housing and clutch assembly on the motor and then pull the transmission if I have any sort of issues, which I hope I don't, I'm buying brand new. So warranty if anything goes wrong. So knock on wood, nothing goes wrong. But I'm gonna get to pulling the rest of this kit for the guy. I He's gonna pick it up this weekend and I just wanna be proactive and have it done as Thursday so I wanna have it done tonight. That way I can enjoy my Friday evening and then hopefully meet up with them Saturday. But here's getting to it. So we are now done. Well, I'm now done taking off the ISR adapter kit. Still looks really good. I cleaned up the fly or the pressure plate a bit. She was pretty dirty, some clutch dust. Typical, you know, drift car. Clutch kicking lots. Half at a time. So back under here we go. And, yeah, she's wide open. So, fun fact, I found out one of my oil lines was leaking. And it had come loose. I don't know if it's from when I took the motor out. That the fitting might have twisted a little bit. And then cracked that loose. But there was no drops underneath until tonight. So... I'm hoping that's what was the case. But thankfully, everything went pretty smooth with that pull. Like, the everything was relatively new and Loctited in there. So it was good in that sense. But, you know, Loctiting everything also equals can be a bit of a pain in the ass. But it's out. I'm thankful for that. So until I get some new parts coming in, uh, or if I take the heads off, maybe I'll film that too, taking all the heads off, see how the cylinders are, take a look at the pistons, and see how they did for the season. Um, I watched my AFRs as much as I could, and they were never, ever lean, thankfully. 
when I was under throttle, I would hit like 12 and my tuner tuned it so it would be in the 12s. So that way it'd be rich. And when I'm on the limiter, it won't damage the engine. So the shout out to Chris, player three, he's always looking out for a guy. So, and he does the best work that he can. Now also I should film my new CRV I just picked up. Uh, show you the details when I go look at it. Uh, it's pretty rad. It's that Silver Maple right now, one of my sponsors. Josh there, I filmed when I uh, died out of the car. It's over there getting a rear main seal and a clutch. I don't have a hoist once again, so dropping the whole subframe and doing a clutch and rear main here would just be absolutely ridiculous. So, that being said, next video, I will film that and show you and explain some of the details on that thing. There's a lot of custom work to it, it's really nice. Um, is it lowered? Is it lifted? Who knows? You'll find out. So, if, but if you follow my Instagram, you already know. But till that time comes, I will give a walkthrough and then we'll go through stuff with Josh. So thanks for watching. Uh, sorry once again for lacking so much in the videos to all the guys who religiously watch my videos. I thank you for doing that and I appreciate that. Let's grow this channel a bit more and I'll start filming a lot more. So thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Do what you do. Take care.